Hello everyone on YouTube. I'm making a quick tutorial. I should just mute the TV about American Dad on. There we go. I'm making a quick tutorial here. I got a few requests to do this video, so I thought I'd make it, you know, as soon as I could. So I'm making it like 1 in the morning, so excuse my tired and quiet voice. I'm, not, I'm trying to not wake anyone up. So I've made this tutorial to um, show you how to do, well, replace the textures in Toontown Offline. So you see I've got my um, Toontown Offline folder open here, the main directory for it. And I've got my, um, well, so I've got my old Toontown phase files here, which I want to, which I want to use to replace some textures in Toontown Offline. So first what you do, you open up your main Toontown directory, if you were to be called Toontown, I've just renamed mine because I installed um, a 1.0.2 update which ended up being a failure but I decided to keep it anyway. So you want to open up the retro resources folder. Then if you're going to be just replacing it like from the old Toontown phase files like I have here, then you want to open like you open phase 3 here go to maps this is where the textures are located open that you do the same in this one as well so you go to phase 3 maps I and mean, if you're going to be like editing the textures directly yourself you won't need this other one open you can just open them up in photoshop and edit them whatever you use so you find a texture that you want to replace you see here you got a whole bunch of closed textures here which you can edit in Photoshop, which is really cool. And what I did is, um, I think with these, you see, I got like, um, I think I replaced those. I'm pretty sure I did from, I think I got those textures from here. I'm pretty sure I replaced them into there. I'm not too sure. The one I was going to show you though is this one. You probably saw it in my um how to install Toontown offline tutorial. I had the old Toon Select screen, which I have here, which you can see I've edited it in Photoshop to make it widescreen. And I, I got it from a screenshot online since for some reason the ones included in the old face files were just let's see really low quality and not not really too sure why it's like that. So, I got a screenshot online from Google, and it had like other tunes on there and stuff. And I photoshopped them out, but I didn't, I didn't do like a thorough job. Like, see here, you might not be able to see it in the video, but you see there where the colors don't really quite match and stuff. But yeah, I edited that in Photoshop, and it's literally you know just that easy. Just change that file, make sure it has the correct name. You see, I made them. Um, is the Christmas one as well. But um this is a backup of the one I was using. So just in case you know I lost the name for it, then I got the backup here and I could just copy that name and put it here and as long as it has the right name and it's the right size and same file type, it'll work. Um with changing the models and I'll try to explain this in a quick way is I I don't know how to do it. See, um the old models like if you want to replace them with the old models from Toontown 2003, um this uses an earlier version of Panda 3D, which this version this the version of Panda 3D which one uses, it can't open these. So um it's kind of a problem there. I'm not really too sure how to get around that, but I hope I just help a few people with how to change some of the textures in Toontown Offline. It's been Lola and signing out.